Hey guys, welcome back to Feed the Beast Unleashed, where last episode we left off we was finishing up our smeltery and, you know, smelting us up some blocks of iron. I'm just going to finish pouring the rest of this out, and we're going to work a little bit on this today, but I'm also going to try to get my base built up a little bit more than what it is. I'm not, you know, a big fan of what this is looking like, so I'm going to probably start picking this up with my lumber axe here real quick. I wonder if I could pair it with stairs. <laughs> yeah, that was worth a shot. Figured it wouldn't, but eh, you never know. Why we test stuff, right? All right, so let's go ahead and quickly repair our lumber axe with some cobblestone. And I should be able to pick this up via like a square pattern. Yep, perfect. All right, so we're gonna quickly, oh no! Why you do that, axe? You're not supposed to mess up my chest now. That ain't cool. That ain't what I wanted. So where did you pick this up? Cool stuff. All right, uh, let me see about getting this fixed up for us, shall we? Let's see, so I'm gonna want, uh, do I have some wood there? Yeah. <laughs> Where's my crafting table? Don, you crafting table. Right, let's go ahead and pull that out of the way. Darn it. All right, for the time being, let's put this thing in the ground. That way, hopefully, it doesn't get messed up by some random lumber axe. All right, we're gonna upgrade that chest real quick. I'm gonna stand right here, and we're just gonna try and throw as much stuff as I can away. Let's see if I can't pick this stuff up, too. I think eventually, I'm gonna try and get rid of a lot of this sand down here. Not a fan. Not a fan of sand myself. Don't know about you guys. See, there's my crafting table. Alright, so all I got is cobble on me. Great. Alright, let's head back into our base. This is kind of my entrance for the time being. Something rather small. And yes, I had a little run-in with a zombie a minute ago before we started the episode. And he uh, decided to drop his face for me. Alright, so we have our smeltery nice and cleared of any molten liquid let's put that away put you and you away let's see you know I really want to expand these because it's not a whole lot of room in there but you know what let's do that let's pull out the iron ore that is mine the iron ingots that is mine uh, let's see, the food. Cause I put up a whole bunch of random stuff that I probably shouldn't have in here. Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Forgot that I had a steel helmet. Uh, block of iron is mine. And let's see, hammer, excavator. I'll leave that in there. I don't really need that at the moment. And let's see, I'll put the rest of this stuff in there. Actually, I probably should go ahead and start growing the raspberry bushes. Let's go get those planted here in just a second. Go ahead and place this down somewhere else. Let's see. All right, let's grab this oak wood here. And we're gonna make us up another chest. Don't worry, I can move these chests pretty easily. Just want to get this stuff sorted out. That way, ain't got to look at it all the time. All right, let's place us a crafting table like right there. Might need it. You never know. All right, there we go. So let's see. Let's convert that over, and let's go get these things planted real quick before we start figuring out what I'm going to use for the floor. Actually, I think we might go back to just some temporary wood. Hmm. Wouldn't mind clearing out a nice little area over here. In which if I do that, I would want to probably make a scythe. Yeah, I'm probably going to want to open this area up a little bit. Because I don't think I can grow these bushes. Yeah, I didn't think so. I mean, I could put them inside, but... Hmm... 
What about like kind of like a floating garden kind of look? That might be kind of neat. I need some dirt, but let's do the little. Oh, okay, we're good. Just making sure. <laughs> Double checking. Uh, let's see. So let's just use some jungle wood for now. Hmm. How do I want to do this? That was very smart, wasn't it? Alright, so I'm just going to expand this out a little bit with some jungle wood. Yeah, good job there. Good, good job. Can't even pick it up. You know what? Support, why not? <laughs> There's a support for it. Don't need it. Unnecessary, but there you go. Alright, so... Put another ledge right there. I'm not going to make this one too big. I got plenty of jungle wood, why not? Just make it look nice. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I'll leave it for now. Alright, and... Let's see, so... I think from here... Let's make a little platform out. Guess we're out of... Jungle wood there. Yeah, see, that doesn't look too bad there. I don't know if I'd want my whole floor like that, but just something to start out. I think I might get into a little bit of the tree breeding. See what I can't you know, do there. I think there's some cool green planks that I could use later on. Alright, so a nice little area right there. That'd be fine. I think what I'm going to do is build like this. Out one. We'll just kind of make like a small little stair. Like so. There we go. That'll work for now. Temporary. Alright, and we'll grow our bushes like right here. Right? Right. I think. Let's see, let's actually go over one more. So let's clear out another little area here. Hello! <laughs> Hello! I saw you, buddy. In fact, come over here. Get in the water with me. Alright, so I'm gonna circle around. And I'm just gonna whack you a few times, let you blow up. And we're even. <laughs> nice and easy. Alright, now let's go ahead and pull out the excavator. The hammer. Let's do this the right way. Clear that out. Might as well go ahead and grab the copper while I'm here. I know, it's getting dark out. There we go. Go ahead and fill this stuff in. And we'll continue placing our bushes right there. Alright, cool. So now we got like a little food source right there. Let's get back in here. Take us a nice little nap, so I ain't got to worry about any mobs jumping in my base here. Alright, so a few little changes to the base today. Not too bad looking so far. Alright, now let's see about possibly getting us up some casts made up with this thing. So we can maybe possibly make, you know, some iron or lumite tools to get away from some of the stone I think an iron might be the better way to go, just because iron's a little bit more plentiful than a lumite, and a lumite I would have to craft, so uh, let's see. That's why I'm leaving some iron ore on me. I think what I'm going to want to do, because I don't think I have any... more aluminum this and I think I need like three and one copper in order to make brass so let's see what was, which one would that be and I think it's in this one a mighty smelting so yes yeah, alloys so if I go over to alloys aluminum brass is made from three aluminum and one copper so I only have two so I can't do that unfortunately 
but I should be able to make it out of gold also. So as you see, blank casts are made by pouring aluminum, brass, or gold into an empty casting table. These are used in crafting recipes and can be remelted. Okay, cool. Part casts must be created by pouring metal around existing parts like a pickaxe head. So that's what we're going to work on. Put our book away. And I do have some gold. I'm going to try not to use it all, though. I <laughs> don't want to use it all. Uh, maybe maybe nine pieces for now. So this should melt rather quickly. And what we're going to want to do from this point is grab us some of our spare, you know, parts from Tinker's Construct, like the bone binding that we probably won't use for a while. And seeing how we don't have any others, we're going to have to probably make up some more. So let's make up a stone large plate because we're going to make a pattern for that even though we probably really don't need to. I like to do it anyway. I'm going to make me one up for a pickaxe head. Tool rod pattern of course. We already got the, the regular binding there. So that's kind of unnecessary. Uh, definitely want the hammer head. Gonna need me a little bit more cobblestone looks like. Let's fill that up. Uh, let's grab a tough binding, tough tool rod, and this will help us for something else in just a minute. We might even be able to make a knapsack today. That might be kind of cool. All right, so we should have all the materials here to make a pickaxe and a hammer. That's what I'm really trying to go for. Two main tools to the trade. All right, so we have nine molten gold ingots in there. Or, or, I'm sorry. <laughs> nine ingots worth of molten gold. There we go. Let's see. So let's go ahead and put our hammer head in there. And if we right-click on this, it should start pouring it up into a cast. And then it'll dry like that. If we right-click, we pick up the cast there. Right-click again to pick up the hammer head. All right, let's do tough tool rod. How much is this using? It's actually using quite a bit. Yeah, I know that didn't really match. <laughs> That's texture pack for you. Uh, let's see, so we have that and that. I really don't need it for the stone large plate. That's going to be like the last thing I do. Uh, let's move that aside, so... I don't know if I'm going to have enough. We'll try. We'll see. Alright, so there's our pickaxe head cast. Let's do a binding. I think this is going to dry us up. Maybe. Got one left in there. Do we have enough for the stone rot? Oh, we might. No, oh, darn it. Alright, we're probably going to need one more gold ingot. And then at that point, that should be just about everything I need. I can uh, deal with just using stone for now. I can actually make stone and, I believe, obsidian also. So we're just going to wait for that guy to finish up. All right, so we got that one. We got all of... Uh, we didn't do this one yet. But I don't need that for a pickaxe or a hammer, so I'll just leave that aside for now. The only other thing is the tool rod right here is what I need so we'll just finish pouring this guy up and I'll be happy with that until I get some aluminum that way I don't have to keep wasting all my gold All right, let's put that guy back let's actually get some iron melting up I just put it all in there alright now we got a lot of spare tools that I are parts that I really don't want so don't really know what to do with them <laughs> except for like destroy them. So I'm just gonna throw these out in the the pond for now. I don't really want them. There we go. All right, so now we got some casts. All right, now I was talking about a knapsack a minute ago. This is actually a part of this extra tab up here. If you notice this little piece of armor right here, if you click on that actually brings up a different you know little interface here and if you notice this little bag right here 
this is actually an add-on I can get that allow me to you know have another extra piece of inventory and I'm gonna try and make that I've never made it before but let's see what we need so we're gonna need leather got it iron tough tool rod I can make it and a gold ingot not bad all right let's give it a shot so I'm gonna need two of these let's get that poured up real quick yeah I know it's gonna look funny all right, so we're gonna need two iron tough tool rods and piece of gold we're gonna need some leather we need six pieces of leather and crafting table and shift right click there we go knapsack to hold your things so if I click this guy place this right there a new tab appears extra space now I'm not sure how it works but there's something that it has to do with when you die I think it keeps all the items in the inventory or it pulls them out I don't know I'm not sure how it works to be honest I'm not even gonna lie to you guys <laughs> I don't want to just say something cuz then yeah uh, I want you guys to think I'm lying to you so I really honestly don't know how it works when you die I don't intend on finding out anytime soon though either so I'm gonna make me up another iron tough tool rod pattern pick that up let's make us an iron head or yeah what is that called how much we got left we gotta have hopefully we have enough is that an iron hammerhead yeah iron hammerhead and then I'm gonna need what two bindings or whatever that is uh, the plates two of the plates so I'm gonna make me up two large stone plates I know I got one down there don't feel like going down there so I'm gonna make me up a new hammer now the stones cool here because it should actually give me stone bound still iron hammerhead iron tough tool rod and look at the durability on that <laughs> 1988 and mining level of redstone three modifiers left now I was told and it kind of new, but you can take paper. So let's make up some paper real quick. Make me up nine pieces of this. And I'm actually going to try something out. I want to see if I can't make a... Oh, darn, you can't. I was going to see. Maybe I don't have enough. Can I make a paper? I thought I could... paper large plate well what do I need to do to make that <laughs> why can't I make this do I need more sugar canes or something well, I'd hate to use more than all right I ain't gonna be making any more up because I, I need to plant those I'm not sure how much that would cost if that's the case all right anyway uh, what else could I make it out of? I guess I could make it out of the tool rod, but then I'd hate to do that, but it does give me another modifier added on. Oop, wrong pattern. So you can see I can make a paper tough tool rod. Handle modifier is 0 0.3. So anything anytime you see something with a point, you know, and then a number without a you know number in between, or not a number in between, but a number before the decimal point. Uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with math, that's actually going to decrease the durability of your tool. So, yeah, not a good thing. So we're going to go ahead and pull that out. If I'm correct. I hope I, hope I didn't lie. <laughs> yeah, I have myself questioning my own math skills sometimes. Yeah, that happens. So if I pull that out and put this on, that brings the durability down to 459. But it increases my modifiers to 4. And I really don't want to do that because, really, it would probably be better just to leave the iron tough tool rod on there and keep that much durability with three modifiers. So I'm going to hold on to that. We'll use that later. Now, I need to give this guy a proper name. We'll call this guy Hammerus. Cool. I can deal with that. 
Alright, let's pull that paper out of there. I'll hold on to this tough tool rod paper binding there. And I should be able to put these casts in here. Yep. Good stuff. Alright, and let's see. So we got all that taken care of. Then we have Hammerus, right? Now, a lot of you guys are going to be asking me to put Lapis on there. I'm probably not going to put Lapis on Hammerus. I'll probably make me another Iron Pick and do that, but we'll do that another time. Hmm. In fact, no, actually, let's just go ahead and make one up. So I'm going to take me a piece of paper to, with our tool rod pattern, I think it, yeah, it only takes one piece of paper. That's what I thought. <laughs> Actually, no. No, 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 no. We'll do one better. I don't know if a binding has anything to do with it. Like, I don't think it decreases anything at all. So I'm going to use a paper binding. We'll use that for something else later on. Whoa! Guy, you scared the... Ah, oh, well, I just used my hammer. <laughs> Hammer kind of comes on like, uh, the hammers come in with like a built-in uh, smite effect. So it does like a lot more damage versus undead. So, yeah, that guy startled me. I didn't even know it was nighttime. Let's grab a little sleep, shall we? Uh, there we go. So I got another <laughs> trophy for my wall. That was quick. Uh, what was we doing? Right, we was building a uh, pickaxe. Okay, so let me get my pickaxe head cast. Get some iron ingots there. So there's my paper binding. See, I was thinking about using stone. Because I like having stone bound on there. But I think I might just go with Hold on, what do we need for a Lumite? I keep forgetting this. Let's grab our mighty smelting book. We need five aluminum. All right, so I can't do it. So I need five aluminum, two iron, and two obsidian. Maybe soon. I don't know what is up there that's killing everything, but stuff always dies above me right there. All right. Well, for the time being, I'll go ahead and use stone let's make sure I don't have one floating around somewhere I, I think I threw it away that's just fine All right, there we go pull that out and let's get us some iron cooking up I think I only need what's, yeah material cost of one so I just need one ingot alright that's cool place our cast down there while we're waiting, let's grab us a little bite to eat, shall we? Uh, hmm. There we go. Good stuff. Alright, so... Yeah, wrong sound effect. I know. <laughs> Leave me alone. I was actually yawning. Uh, let's see. So, we got that taken care of. We got the iron in there cooking up. Looks like it's almost... Wait, oh, we already had molten iron in there. What am I doing? Huh, I didn't know I had molten iron left in there still. Alright, anyway. Pour us up a iron pickaxe head. It's kind of hard to see with this texture pack, but yeah. Uh, let's see, so let's grab our pickaxe pattern here. Iron pick, paper binding, which should add us another modifier, and a stone rod, even though it has, you know, a point, I think a point six or a point seven uh, multiplier for durability. It still adds stone bound to the pickaxe. So writable, stone bound, and reinforced one. Our durability is at 125. Mining speed of six with our mining level of redstone. And we have four modifiers. So, hmm. Really don't know what I would want to call this. <laughs> eh, we'll just call it um, something normal because I'm gonna probably be getting rid of this later on anyway so uh, we'll just call it something normal for the time being all right so I'm gonna grab me some lapis I'm gonna grab me a piece of diamond let's get some redstone out we're gonna start hooking our tool up here all right so I'm gonna convert this into a lapis block 
Let's get our iron pick and combine it with a piece of lapis lazuli block there. And that's going to give us, well, luck. So we got three more pieces there. Now we don't have any fortune on it yet, but we might see an extra item pop out here and there, maybe. We're not sure about that. So I'm going to add a diamond to this, which is going to give us a durability of plus 500 and increase our mining level to obsidian. There we go. And now for a little bit of redstone. So let me grab some redstone blocks. Let me actually grab some more redstone. And let's add a little haste to this. All right, so we're going to need a little bit more. Redstone, let's see. There we go. That takes us up to 45. And that'll max us out at 50 right there. So we still have one modifier remaining. We have a mining speed of 10, durability of 625, mining level of obsidian. So it's going to be like our fortune pickaxe. We're getting started on it. Now, let's see. Maybe a emerald on it to increase the durability just a little bit more. And add another little item on there. So durability plus 50%. That'll take the durability up to 937. I think I'm happy with that. So let's do a little mining on some stone real quick. See how fast this is. Eh, that ain't too bad. Yeah, I could live with this. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> the hammer's a little bit quicker on walls like this. That being our iron hammer there. Let's actually modify that too while we're at it. Got plenty of diamonds. I'm going to add me a diamond to this guy because I like the effect. <laughs> and it looks pretty cool. Actually, oh, the bonus. Okay. It's going to bring our mining level up to obsidian, which is, I'm ha actually happy with that. That way it can grab me some easy obsidian before I get my minium stone. So there we go. And we still have, what, how many modifiers left? We have two modifiers left on that. Hmm. Do I want to add more redstone? That's what I'm thinking. I think I might just do redstone. Now, you guys might not agree with me, but I plan on making a lot more Tinker's Construct items later on. Don't worry. Alright, so that one's maxed out, so it's at 741. You know what? I think... I think we'll just go ahead and max that out. We'll get some more redstone. Actually, darn, we don't have enough to max it out. Well, I'll max it out later then. All right, so let me go ahead and pick that back out. Take a look at this one more time. Ah, oh, yeah, that ain't bad. Clear our little area here in our base. Not bad. I can live with this. Uh oh. Your slimes. There we go. Alright, that's cool. That'll work for me. Alright, now I don't have any torches on me. Where are my torches? And as all other Tinker's Construct items, you can right click if you have, you know, torches on the slot next to it. You can right click and it'll place the torch down for you. I'll do the same thing with, you know, these uh, iron pick, uh, excavator. I think it does it with all of them, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. Now, I think what I really want to do is possibly head on over and grab maybe some of that quarried stone, I'm thinking. I don't know. Hmm. Might just have to wait on that. I think I'm going to start working on getting us some machines built up because... There are some other items that I think would definitely help me out with building and expanding my, you know, my <laughs> my resource inventory here. As you can see, we're a little low on resource. What the heck? I have three different tin ingots. All right. One of the other things I want to try and get going as soon as possible is at least applied energistic system. Reason being, that way I don't have multiple ores like th or ingots like this. So I have. This tin ingot, this tin ingot, and then this tin ingot. Not a big fan of multiple ingots. Oh, we got a little bit more lapis there, too. 
Do, do, do. Gonna go ahead and put that on my pickaxe too. So guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you guys have any, any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.